G'day everybody, so we're just going to do a quick video. I'm going to show you how I like to train, uh, you know, when I'm working on my technique uh, as opposed to field shots around the green, how I like to use our flight sleeves. So I actually do use both of them. Uh, I primarily use the right one uh, as, you would, as you would mainly see it being used uh, in order to keep that wide shallow takeaway and increase that torso rotation. But I do throw the uh, left sleeve in as well just to, you know, remind myself to not let my hands release too much on particularly these straightforward chip pit shots. I'm gonna to go to this first uh, flag here out in front of me. Usually what I'll do is I'll hit five with the right one on, take it off, hit five with the left, hit five normal. So I'm just gonna hit a couple with each. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit a couple with the, the right sleeve on. Go straight back, straight through. Okay. Hit another one. Okay, and so this is just reminding us to keep that right arm nice and quiet, like Jason Day, Luke Donald, Max Homer, Will Zalatoris, all those guys chip very similarly. Right, so now we'll dive and you can see here though how shallow those divots are, okay? Um, you just cannot get steep with it, which is what I see is the biggest problem with most people. So I'm gonna pull on the left arm, okay? So this is just gonna help keep the, the left wrist quiet on the, on the way through. This is really gonna help you control your trajectory keep the ball flight super duper consistent. This bottom strat doesn't need to be done all the way up, just lightly, okay? A couple of practice swings, okay? Same thing. We'll keep that club face nice and quiet. Let's hit a couple real quick. Okay. You just see it's reminding us on that exit, not letting the hand release at all. And that's really gonna help keep the Effective loft of the club face down, one more. Okay, so now that's a good one there because I didn't actually hit that one very well. So that one I hit heavy. Now you can see the difference between when your arms are wide and shallow, the bounce still interacted with the turf, which means I didn't lay the sod over it. If I come in here, coming in steep this way, I'm just gonna jam it in the ground. The ball's gonna go five yards in front of me. At least there when my path was wide and shallow and I was rotating my body, the bounce interacted. So it's still slid under the ball and I still only have probably four or five feet you know it's not going to be much different to a really good one so I think that's what you'll find with our sleeves is you know your good shots are always going to be good no matter how you do it this is just going to make you far more consistent and it's going to make your missed shots far better from side to side from long to short I think these are really going to help your game incorporating them on both sides